Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. Um, it's 2.47 p.m. Uh, this afternoon on a Saturday and uh, my window says it's 9, Windows uh, 10 says it's 9.47 p.m. So this is the type of error you get when you have a dual boot system and you've come back from Linux back to Windows. It's a really common problem I've had for years. Uh, there's a good article on how to fix it in, in, in Linux by changing how the hardware clock works. Uh, so, but what we're going to do is fix it in Windows because I think it's a Windows problem. And it's easier to fix it in my two Windows installations than all my Linux uh, uh, distros I'm running. And every time I try out a distro, it's, it, it throws my Windows off. So what we're going to do here, uh, first we have to make sure that we have what's called time sync on to a internet time server. And to do that, we're going to uh, hit the Windows key, type time. And you should see uh, change date and time settings here. And uh, I have it on right now, so we're going to show you how to set this up, but it'll have the uh, time synchronization. But it only synchronizes every six hours. So uh, first we have to make sure you have it on. So you go down here to where it says add clocks for different time zones. This is where you set the internet time. For some reason they put it under this category. So you click here and you t internet time and then you say change the settings and then you want to make sure this is checked and then you want to choose uh, time nist.gov that you can choose the server that Microsoft provides but it's been buggy for years so I don't trust it uh, so I use the government one which has always been tried and true go ahead and hit OK and then hit OK and we'll close this so now to get it it still not hasn't fixed the time that's because it only syncs uh, I think twice a day so what we're going to do is tell it to sync every time you start up Windows so if you come back from Linux and you start up Windows it's going to run a script this is also nice to know because you can run any script that you write when you start up Windows so uh, to write the script first we have to write a script so I'm going to go to File Explorer and I'm just going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to right click here and say I want a new text file text document and then we're going to rename it something you can name it anything you want but I'm going to call it uh, time uh, sync and uh, dot bat and I'll hit enter and say yes you do want to change the extension and so then we're going to edit it so we right click on it and say edit and that's going to open up notepad for this file and you want to put in two lines. You want to put at echo, oops, echo off. So space off, hit enter, and then say W32 uh, TM for time manager, space slash resync, hit enter. So this is the command we'll actually do all the work. This will tell it to go out to the internet get the current time and set your system to that. Uh, so it's a really nice simple thing. Let's go ahead and save this. Close uh, Notepad. So now we're going to make a shortcut. So this is another strange thing about Windows. Uh, you To uh, run a, a, uh, a, a script, I couldn't find out any other way except through a shortcut. So you make a shortcut of this. So you go down and say create a shortcut. Okay. So now we have this file. This is the file we're going to use, um, but we have to put it in the right place. So to find the right place, hold down Windows and type R, the Windows key and hit R. That will bring up your run prompt. Type in shell colon startup. It remembers it here. But if it didn't remember it, you can just type in shell colon start up. This says go to the shell startup folder. So it's going to go to a special folder uh, in your user directory called the startup folder. And the folder is currently empty. So we're just going to move this window aside and drag our shortcut into here. You could also copy and paste the shortcut to keep the original, uh, but we're just going to do that. Oops. Okay, so now uh, we have to do one more thing. We have to tell it to run as administrator. So you right click on here don't want to say run as administrator that or just run it uh, which would 
sync the time, but we want to tell it to have administrator when it runs normally. So we're going to go down to properties, click on shortcut, go to advanced, and say run as administrator. So this is going to op this will tell it when you run this file, it's going to run as administrator. So hey, hit OK, hit OK, and uh, then you can close everything and you're all set. So it still says 9.52. Uh, you can actually go in back to the time settings and there's a button that says sync now or, or uh, r update now and it'll update it. Uh, now if I log off now and I restart Windows, it will have the next time, but my recording won't allow to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop my recording here uh, and you can try it out and you should find the correct time when you uh, restart Windows now whenever you come back from Windows uh, from uh, Linux. So thank you for this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me go in the comments uh, what other type of Linux or uh, other uh, videos you would like and I'll uh, take that under advisement.